Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Purity Debt Solutions. There's several ways to get into debt. Student loans, credit cards. I personally went into debt heavily on the Freedom Factory and if I didn't risk it all, I wouldn't have this beautiful rollback tow truck. Whether you're running into hard times or you took out student loans and now you've got debt that you just can't seem to pay off, PDS debt might be a solution for you. Cool thing about PDS debt is they take all your payments and they turn it into one low monthly payment. PDS debt is offering a free debt analysis. You head over to pdsdebt.com slash Cletus and that link is in the description below. And it only takes 30 seconds. Everyone with $10,000 or more in eligible debt qualifies and there is no minimum credit score required. Bad and fair credit is accepted. Save thousands in interest and fees and pay off your debt in a fraction of the time with PDS debt. PDS debt is a top rated company on google and has an a plus better business bureau rating guys there is a way out there is a way to financial freedom and pds debt can help you out with that like i said earlier hit up pdsdebt.com slash cletus for a free debt analysis it only takes 30 seconds thanks to pds debt for sponsoring today's video let's get to the live action hell yeah brother you're on the please me on youtube channel All right, I was doing some editing and old squirrels getting some pressure washing done. God dang. Look at that. Holy crap. Dude. It's brand new. Dude, she looks so good. <laughs> it's brand new. Look at that paint. All that crap came right off. I know. Oh a little, my. A little washing, she'll be wow. dying. Yeah, this will take a wrap good now. Look at us. Oh, the windows went up? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Perfectly fine. Okay. And even after all the dents, still. Yep. Nice. Best closing door on property. Dude, it looks so good. I know. <laughs> all it's right. So fired up. How'd the chassis? Oh, you're still getting to that. Yeah, I washed her off and then I scraped a bunch of grease off. Yeah. And some of the heavy grease. Oh, was... dude, she's ready to be painted. Yeah, just about. I'm going to rinse it. We want to leave the real heavy stuff because obviously it was in an important place. Seals in the flavor. Exactly. Oh man, we should change our shocks out while we're here too. Oh, well, yeah. I'm going to wash them. Oh, just clean them? So, yeah. we're not then they'll be good. Church, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, as you can see, we have a lot of exposed rust, so we're going to go hard on the spray paint today. And uh, the cab already looking excellent. That's going to get wrapped, so it'll look really good. Chassis looking real good. What about this, George? Are we gonna try and... I mean, I feel like it's pretty indestructible. Peel this crap off? We should put at least something fresh on the front of that. Fresh mat of rubber in front? Yeah, in it looks terrible. Slam somebody that's not listening? Yeah, good point. You know what we need is some Aluma Bright. Put that on there, thing will be shining. Damn, dude, fire me up. I mean, the parking lot's absolutely destroyed, but yeah. we're yeah. looking really good. We are looking really good. We're gonna have a big block and a transmission in this thing in no time. <laughs> All right, guys, back to work on the square body we got a jack stand measuring for some motor mounts because we do want some fresh motor mounts now i read in the comments that this shifter apparently comes off by just twisting it they said push in and it pops right out yeah because we're like how the hell do you pull a cab off with this stupid thing i mean it causes a lot of headache yeah now, all the guys are yelling at us but apparently you just push down and twist. Push down, it's not pushing down at all. It will twist. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going easy. down at all. So I don't know who the hell, what the hell they're talking about. She has no play in her whatsoever. It definitely doesn't push down. Unless it's this thing. Oh, oh. wait, that does push. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
just simple things. Bro. Unbelievable. <laughs> you ruined your shift knob for that. Pops buddy. right out. Look at the scratches on the bottom. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, yeah. Wow. Unreal. All right. Learn something new every day, folks. That's right. Wow, look at that. And then just... Boom. Done. <laughs> Easiest shifter on the God, planet. Dang, that was easy. See, we knew that. What we're going to do right now is pull this transmission off of this diesel engine. We don't need that. We're going. Then we got to look at this clutch and uh, flywheel combo and have Jack stand order us something because we need a clutch that can hold some horse torque. All right. Well, pulling the trans off the old square body. Cleats coming with the forklift. I hear him. <laughs> oh, that's probably the safest way to do it. <laughs> Just like a draft. No brakes, no brakes, no brakes. <laughs> hey. Nice sharp turn, there you go. That'll stop I you. I thought you'd pull in the reverse while I was driven. You need your transmission pulled? Sure do. I'm your guy. You called the right guy. <laughs> oh, dude, I needed that. All right, hang on. I got to unbolt her first, Draft. Oh, did I unbolt it? Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I've never worked on a transmission with a clutch like this. So, yeah, that's, have you? It's new, no. We should probably keep an eye on how that stuff works. Probably just YouTube it. When we put it back together. Yeah, we can YouTube it. Brand new tires on this thing. Those are definitely getting swapped. <laughs> we need those. I might get them powder coated too, you know what I'm saying? Hit some bolts, brother. All right. Oh, let's have Jackson order some cab mounts, too. Yeah, for sure. So she rides smooth. <laughs> like a Cadillac. All right, our clutch. Let's see. Easily adjustable. That's good. We'll oh, wow. This. Yeah, I think you just unbolt the tranny and we'll figure it out. Yeah, that's riveted, so we'll pull this out here. Oh, oh, easy, oh easy enough. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing technology. Got the drive shaft off. Just gotta get a strap. I'll grab a strap. All right. Good. All right. I think you're pretty. Uh, let me see. Are the bolts out of the trans? <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure all right. got all of them. That ain't going anywhere. Nope. Getting your getting your shyster, dude. Ideally, I could have moved that rubber thing, but yeah, the dude. slack might what be good for us. Here we go. Squirrel and giraffe to the rescue again. Another easy job. Put her there, bud. Hey, did you want to put a jack under the motor? Yeah. All right, we got a jack under the motor. Now, hopefully, she just pops right off. All right, a little bit of tension. Are all the bolts out? Think so. Oh, hang on. All right, hang on. They don't look like it. Oh, hang on a second. Wait a second. What about the trans mount in the back? It's off. The trans is floating right now. So we just need a pry bar, maybe. And we put a little more juice on this puppy here. All right. That thing sealed on for a while. Oh, it's got a gap now. It's got a gap. There you go. You were the old one leg, two arm shimmy, is what I call it. <laughs> ah, oh. Nice. Oh. Popped well, right off. Son of a biscuit. It's just <laughs> that easy. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Look, I'll hit the slide on the forks. Ready to... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> slide it right out of there. All right, let me give it a little bit more one legged shimmy. One leg. One oh, leg. she's yeah. out, bud. All right, let me go up a little bit. Slide her back out. Hey. A couple shimmy, squirrel. Yep, she's coming. Wait, go back down a little bit. Oh! oh. Good thing you put that knot in there. Darn right. Should have right been. <laughs> Should have been on the ground. Yep, it's a ten spline. Is it really? Oh. Oh. She's swinging. Watch the strap. Is it really 10 splines? That's all they needed. They said 10 splines will do for me. Wait, so how does this clutch work? Wait, that's okay. So it's that's literally a lever. Yeah. It's just like yeah. a regular one, except it's manual. It ain't hydraulic. 
So yeah. it just pushes the throttle bearing out. That's simple yeah. as can be. Oh, crap. was. <laughs> I mean, this baby feels and looks Great. good. I mean, look, look at that bearing. <laughs> We're good. So now, that clutch is probably fine. Yeah, I know, but do we want the to horsepower? Risk yeah. Putting a clutch in it that sucks when we have a 632. I know. We need a to lock them horsepower. tires up. Yeah, I like it. What if we're in a towing situation? And you have to floor it. What if we get a call from JH and one of his piece of junk trucks that weighs a lot? We're going to need all that horsepower. Or if we get in a race, some yeah. other tow truck pulls up, steps towing pulls up, and we got to smoke them. <laughs> I want to have that power on deck. I like it. Well, that yeah. went as yeah. good as it could. Honestly, right now I'm calling out steps towing. Get your fastest truck. When our rollback's done, Jeremy, bring yours out. You're done, bud. All right, guys, on the chassis side of things for the rollback, we're going to get rid of this toolbox because it's cranked, obviously. Whoa. I lost the light. All right, all right, careful now, squirrel. We don't need you getting thought, a tetanus shot. I thought she was a little tighter than that. How much budget you boys got left? Budget? Yeah. I'm what, lot. you got our clutch price? Yeah. What are we looking at? Three hundred and thirty-six. Three hundred and thirty-six dollars. Yeah, and then you still need a flywheel. What in the hell? So you gotta buy a flywheel and the clutch. Yep. Separate. All right, hold on. Pull this off. I, gotta, right. I can't think straight right now. You probably get about five bucks. Pull that bolt out. <laughs> Got it. I <laughs> just pulled on it. Bob Dry. Oh, landed on the Milwaukee. Ah. <laughs> Oh, Dude, we can't be doing that with our budget situation. <laughs> you got budget for a new impact? <laughs> yeah, we're good. So 300 and how much? Holy Toledo, George. Look at this. What can we sell? <laughs> we're going to have to weld oh. that up, bro. That's right. That's no big deal. I can handle that. Ty probably welded that and it yeah, obviously yeah. cracked. What's the total with the flywheel? And then uh, with the flywheel. I mean, there's better clutches too that's just one that should yeah work. i just need like 700 horsepower this one's rated for 700 foot pounds of torque okay that, hey, that's Perfect. good that's Perfect. good yeah the suspense is killing me yeah, right your now. flywheel bud yep no 254 dollars <laughs> what so all right so we need we need to make 600 bucks dude i got an idea hard. i got an idea i'll call jay try and sell him that diesel oh nice all right, all right. so we sold one motor Yo. Hey, real quick, uh, you know that diesel engine out of my dually? The yeah. I got a, a sale going on right now. Sale ends after this phone call. So this is a, basically a one-time offer. $600. This is, this is the, the, the square body dually, right? Yeah, the one that, with the diesel we ran the other day ran really good. Well, it runs. There ain't no boat anchor. We just need to know if you're in or out because we have another buyer standing right here with the cash in his hand. And he's going to take it for for 700 But since you're my boy, I said 600 right now. I am 1,000% out. <laughs> no. I'm going to put your phone number on YouTube if you don't pay the 600 <laughs> Come on, dude. It's for our budget. We're not going to be able to finish this rollback. What are you talking about? It's for the rollback, Jage. Please. Money. All right, we'll call someone else, dude. We know what we have. <laughs> when you said six hundred, I was like, "Ooh, it's pretty steep." <laughs> well, I'm trying to get it all in one spot, so we don't have to yeah, make multiple yeah. deals. Yeah. We're prepared to make you an offer, one that oh, you probably won't be able to refuse. What's that? Two, two offers. We, we'll paint your burnout car and <laughs> tow it free for life for six hundred dollars. For six hundred dollars. Six hundred bucks. What do you need six hundred dollars for now? The clutch for a rollback. It's mighty steep. This is a take big it or leave it offer. Six hundred bucks, full paint job. Dude. If you don't take it, I think it's four hundred dollars per tow. Four hundred dollars per tow. Yeah, minimum. Dude, there's a Ford in that thing. I'll never need a tow. So you're you're turning us down when we need help? Is that what I'm hearing? You guys don't need help. You guys are alpha mechanics. I thought. 
Well, we are. We're trying to swing a deal. We're just trying. We're just out of cash right now on our deal. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. You're gonna have to junk around the Freedom Factory scrapyard. Fine. Fine. All right. All right. I can't I'll help figure it you out. guys. Just remember that. I can't help. Nope. Well, I guess you're gonna have a brown. Are you interested in the same deal, dude? Spray it up. <laughs> you want that deal? We'll paint your Mustang <laughs> and free toes for life. I mean, that's hard to refuse. For six hundred bucks. bucks. Oh, six hundred bucks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Clutch, dude. It's expensive. I mean, it better be high quality spray paint. It's gonna be the best. It better be name brand. Are you in or out? Do it. Do it. it Walk in. <laughs> we got it. All right. Let's go. Nice, dude. Yeah. Heck yeah. Order it. Order it, bud. Don't paint his wrong Mustang. <laughs> He's got Bro. two out there. <laughs> he didn't specify which Mustang we had to paint. <laughs> order order the clutch and the flywheel. And sit her down, put on Ty's card. Throw some ARP bolts on there too. All on Ty's card. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right. All right, we're off to Ace. Let's go get some spray paint, get this frame rust proof, and then we can put the engine in. Hey, bud. Hey, Oh, uh, you know, just wheeling and dealing out here. Yeah, we were wondering if you wanted to buy this 6.2 diesel. I know you're kind of into buying engines right now. 6.2 diesel, just the engine? Yep. Naturally aspirated. They're really sought after. Uh, uh no. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I heard. Jay, Jay just tried to offer us 600 for it. We told he's him we'd nuts. talk to you. He's nuts? He can, he's nuts. He can have it. You sure? Because, I mean, he was, like, raring to go, and I was like, let me call Derek first. No, I'm not. I can't. Uh, I'm not smart enough to do diesel stuff. Yeah, all right. Well, I guess we'll sell it to him then, unless you're, if yeah. you're sure. I'm sure. Thanks for thinking of me, though. We got budget. <laughs> so... We got all turbo cans I've been seeing. Huh. Are we going gloss or regular? Wow. It is. Oh, gloss, gloss, dude, for sure. All Camouflage. Right. All right, all right. Here you go. Big Jesus dogs right gloss. here. Yeah. Rust oleum. That's flat. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Rust stop. Done deal. How many you think? Indoor, outdoor? It's going to take a few. Seven bucks. Oh, jeez. I think probably four will get us done, right? Four, you think? I mean, do we go Five? with the cheapies down there or no? Those are nine bucks. What? Yeah, those are That's more. the real. Oh, that's Rust Oleum. This isn't. This is Rust Stop. Yeah, that's, you know. This is Rust Oleon. <laughs> Six cans. Oh, yeah, we're dialed. All right, we're going to see if this gas tank is good or not. Well, let's, let's if we can save it. It's not good enough. That would be kind of nice. Well, that stuff don't matter because we'll just put one of those drop in retro dealy whoppers from Holly. Make our lives a lot easier. Because this is a big old tank. That's a big dog tank. That's a big old tank. This might be a little tricky. There you go. There we go. Just cut those lines. We ain't gonna reuse them anyway. No, sure ain't. Sure ain't. Let's see if our fuel tank's good. It's a little. Hey. There we go. Still a little bit of fuel. Tank. Literally perfect. Wow, it's actually clean in there. It's nice in there. <laughs> right. Wow, way less work we gotta do. Okay, there's some crap in the bottom. Yeah, I don't have a filter. But we're good. Look at this filter, dude. This is what she was working with. Yeah, it's the not screen. looking so hot. Yeah, all right. So we'll get that Holly drop-in deal. Yep. And then that'll just right up to our sniper. Holly sniper EFI. All right, so the only thing left is we should just drop the exhaust out of it. And then it's paint like you've never painted before. Let it rip. <laughs> then we'll leave it to dry. We're not worried about getting overspray on the cab because we're gonna wrap that.
getting it, bud? Yeah. How's she look already? Dang, Man, she dude. looks good. Check that out, new shocks. Oh, nice. Yeah, new black series. Were they in, didn't even have to pay for them? No, they're free. Sweet. You got paint well, all over your arm. Yeah, I had a little explosion. <laughs> Brother, you better drive a rattle can. We got a job. I mean, look how much better it looks it already. looks great. Obviously, we're just painting everything. The back is drying, so I figured we start in the front. Yeah. Let's work our way oh, back. We got the bumper touched up. Yeah. Nice. I mean, you know, she's covered in 40 years of rust. Yeah. The only thing we can do by spray painting it is help. So we might as well <laughs> just go hard, paint everything. I'm, gra I'm glad we got six cans. Yeah. We got a lot of spray paint ahead of us, brother. All right. Let's get let's to do it. it. Oh, I thought you guys didn't want to overspray on your cab. No, we don't care. It's getting wrapped. Now, we do probably need to do the drive shaft when it's spinning. You know what I mean? You jack up yeah. the back wheels, get her spinning. Easy enough. Like and guys, don't worry. The wind is drifting away from Sam's Cougar. We would never get overspray on that bad girl. All right, I think we're dialed. Oh, yeah. She's. I don't think we missed the same Rust spot. stopped. Yeah, there's probably some spots we missed. No. <laughs> nah. I don't see a speck of rust. We're good. All right, so we get our motor mounts and our clutch tomorrow, and we'll hit it. But now we can let this beautiful single coat spray rattle can paint job cure up overnight, and we'll hit it hard in the morning. All right, guys, today what we're going to be doing is taking the transmission and pairing it with our 632 big block. So we got to get that out. We also got to get the engine mounts off that engine, right? I don't think we got any other ones. No, but we do got a brand new clutch. We got the clutch. So let's go ahead and put this bad girl down and pick up that big girl over there and the engine mount ears off of it. Yeah, I guess we're going to oh. need our strap. Well, it's on it. You can just, oh yeah. Never took it off. You may have to. Shysters, come on, baby. You may have to go up there and help get that strap dialed. Can you get her in there? Good. Yep. There you go. Get that baby out of the windshield. Yeah, I placed it so perfectly. I know, you really did. Oh. Oh, the old unhookarooski. All right, on up with it. Here we go. Okay, on up. Good. Heavy? That's all the shots has got. She's, she's bogging? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh, how foolish of me. Yeah, mount, dude. All right. Other one's in a risky spot. I got the other one. Oh, you already did. Yeah. Oh, perfect. We just don't want to lose our bolts. Hopefully, Derek didn't think these were part of the deal. Hopefully not. Perfect, dude. Funny. Go get our 632. This is gonna get loud. I'm here. Watch out for the brakes oh behind the mullet. I gotta get our stuff. You know, because we work out in the parking lot. All the lifts are full still. Still. Oh, that's it right there? Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. That's more than our whole tow truck. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're in a good spot right here. Grab his big old 632. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, hang on. Go back down. All right. Tilt her back a little bit. Keep her balanced. All right. My headlight on. You might want to tilt her back a hair. Yeah. Headlight is on. Certainly not the easiest thing to balance. Well, it's definitely not balanced. Yeah, I think so. Be real easy on it. Right. Easy, easy. <laughs> I got it. All right, give us a little height so it can't hit the ground. There we go. Have to go over the top of no, I don't think so. I think, yeah, I think it's tilt it back way. more. Tilt it back more. I'll tilt it as far back as I can go. The fork is just screaming right now. 
Oh, easy, easy, easy. She's trying to slide back. Give me a brake check, a reverse brake check. Oh, there you go. That's much. Shoot! Oh my gosh, brother. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bring her down easy. What the hell's going on over there? Bring her down easy. We're gonna be needing a new motor. <laughs> Look at how it's hanging on. You got a little more. Squirrel, what the hell are you got going on? I told you be easy. It's hanging on my tip. Literally by a string. All right, all right, strap. Okay, hey, you go down. I'll hold the motor. <laughs> easy, easy. All right, all right. Ain't no small problem. Is this is a lot of horsepower. You know? I know. Here we go. Now we're dialed. Yeah. All right. Huh. Perfect. Now we know. How are we looking now? We're looking really good now. Go up a little more. There you go. Perfect. Whoa, a little shaky. Woo! Get the mountain and all this <laughs> Burnouts in no time. We're in good shape. Man, this 632 has been everywhere. On a forklift, on a helicopter, in a Crown Vic. Now it's about to be in a tow truck. Yep. Oh, it's got motor mounts on it. We're gonna put that trans Probably a little different. It's on the ground over there. What should we do about our clutch situation? Just yeah. put it on out here. All right. You say put it on out here. Stupid question. We don't work in the shop. <laughs> we're we the, look like a bunch we're of we're parking lot boys. <laughs> so that flywheel is probably not the one we're going to keep, huh? Yep. No, because that's a flex plate. So. Yeah. We All need right. to. This is a man get, fishing. That's right. All right. So let's get some parts on box. The moment of truth is really going to be if that bell housing fits this engine. We're pretty much 99% sure that they are the same. But we'll find out here in about two seconds. There is! Brother! Stop it! Our clutch! <laughs> Squirrel! All right, I came in a little hot. Squirrel, you gotta chill out, brother. You gotta chill out. We're in a hurry! That's my bad. All right. It's alright, brother. It's alright. We gotta get this truck done. Freedom 500 right here. So, Jack Stan said this puppy's ready for 800 horse torques. Okay. And, ooh, new bearing? Nice. Throw a bearing. Nice, dude. That's cool. Oh, pilot probably bearing? need that pilot bearing. Looks like 10 splines. Yep. So let's get that piece of junk off and let's get this piece of junk on. And All look, right. it's got the the sleeve in it for the full arm deal. Perfect. I've never messed with this type of clutch. So this could go together wrong. Or also, fast. Also, which side is which? Dang, it would have been. Now that we flip the blocks, that's a bummer. I was just in a hurry. Well, I must have hit a zip tie or something. I understand. We'll have to just make a call now. All right. Make sure you don't put her in backwards. Ah, tight squeeze. I used to have to do these every week on Leroy. <laughs> nice solid bounce back on the hammer. We're good. All right, let's get our flywheel. I don't know what's going on, but this is just going so smooth. This whole project. Flywheel, right yonder. Okay, this bad girl. Shoo! Dang. That's a nice piece of equipment. Ninety percent of our budget went to this. Yeah, that was rough. Better Thankfully, fit really good. Yep. We need some lock tight, probably. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just this is perfection. Awesome. This is awesome. It is. Here, dabble a little Loctite on that puppy. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, the crazy. If you use a torque wrench on your clutch, are you really an American? No. You know what I mean? <laughs>
draft tight. It's got the rhythm. Like a NASCAR pit stop. Hear that ring? Yep. That's how you know it's tight. Exactly. People are gonna be learning so much from this. Yeah. We didn't even intend for it to be that way. I didn't intend for this to be an educational channel yeah. until just now. Right. Do we wanna get the big impact? Oh, that is the big one. Yeah, she's good, dude. She's got plenty. Two? I got her on two. That's about 80 pounds. I'll put her on three. All right. Now for our clutch. It's probably like that. Yep, you're right. You think? Yep. Yeah, it's got it. Really only one way that she can go. Oh, she's a little dusty. I bet we should leave that for friction. It looks like it almost fell off of a cart in the parking lot. Oh yeah, I didn't consider that. Yeah, okay. Single disker, good for 700. That's big box stuff. Jack's you know? saying better not a lot. <laughs> Put us in a real kept the rest of the money bought us the cheapest one we're up against steps towing and all of a sudden our clutch gives out <laughs> we're in trouble we might not live it down in the florida towing community we might be the laughing stock wait a minute do we got a pack of clutch bolts that's pressure good, plate that's good this isn't a good situation no clutch bolts all right we got fresh hardware yep. clutch bolts a little loctite on them a little bit Plenty. There you go. Yeah. Come on. Is it heavy? I don't know if you noticed the scratches on our pressure plate there. Wonder how those got there. Come on. Twirl. Man. All right. Cool. Give me a break. Here we go. Torque them down. How tight do these go, Zach? Normally? I know. It's Just torque them. Douglas, you're gonna do about two. You think two? Two Uggadugas. All right. Nah, it sounds a little loose. Setting four. Nah, uh, dude, you gotta have her full power. Oh, oh, oh. We don't do settings around here, bro. There you go. All right, that's about as tight as Perfect. I can get it. Perfect. Clutch is on. No, I don't think it's good. <laughs> I don't think you need a split second. <laughs> Perimeter check. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Zach's going to measure for us just to make sure we have uh, the right distance out on the flex plate. Sometimes we do have to resort to the guys who know the numbers best. Sometimes it's best to get a second eye on it. Yeah. We already know it's good. We know it's good, but we like to teach. We're teaching Zach how to measure. Exactly. Exactly. Hurry up, son. Atta boy. Is it perfect? You could put a tiny shim in there. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> what do you think the, the yeah, opposite off. side is going to say? Do you want an eighth inch gap? An eighth inch? An eighth inch. What are you looking at, you dude? Want an eighth inch gap? Tape measure, dude. Snap off. Once you want an eighth inch gap? <laughs> Uh, I mean, you could. It's not gonna hurt anything. This guy, I mean, dude. It's gonna be old sloppy clutch. You know, you're not even gonna notice that eighth inch. I don't think. There's not gonna be nothing sloppy about this right, job. Bud, go back to but I would, I would put that starter on there and make sure it's you know gonna be centered, lined up, looking. We're already on it. We already, we already did that, dude. <laughs> Let me see you manually torque that to 25 foot pounds. Nice, clean, perfect. Look center. We're gonna spin her over and find out. I mean, I gotta pull it out. Nah, you gotta hear if it hit. You gotta hear it, just like a drag strip, you know? Really? Yeah, right. you gotta get that. Hit it. Hmm. Run him. I mean, I don't know if you know what you're doing, squirrel. Well, I never said I did. Look at that. Hold on to her a little bit. All Got right. a lot of compression, dude. The jump box is dead. You're good. All right, we're good. We're good, brother. We're tiled. Now, I just invented a new way to do this. In my head, I think you're going to be impressed. All right. 
All right, I'm gonna take this off. I don't want it to get damaged. Oh boy, that's okay. What we're gonna do is slide this back. I like it. Okay. I like it. And then we're gonna utilize these nice long forks we have in this shyster horsepower to pick up the transmission on this side, then we'll slide them together. Whoa. You know Whoa. What I'm gonna take all, yes. the, all the work out of it. So grab that strap. You're that a genius. Have. Thank you. No way. All right. Let's see. Just got a brilliant. This is brilliant. Exactly. All right. I'm going to lift her up. You say when. All right. Stop there. Okay. She's floating. Oh, this is the most brilliant thing I've ever seen in my life. Sometimes our genius just amazes me. Agreed. Yeah, a little higher. There we go. There we go. Now we just raise that a little bit. Raise this a little bit. Oh, that's, that's all. Great. Your operation going? It's going really good. Can't you tell by looking? All right, nice. Flipper, flipper straight, probably now. Yep. Can't just man that into that thing up on it. Cast iron, I tried. <laughs> a little too heavy, then eat your Wheaties. She's thick. All right. Now watch and learn, everybody. You guys watching? Watch Pay it. close Ready? attention. Watch out. This ain't our first rodeo. Yeah. Cowboy over Every there, it looks like it. <laughs> yup, here it comes. Oh. Here it comes. Look, oh my, did it go in without me even adjusting it? It's perfect. It's literally. It's perfect. Look at these guys. So yeah, exact. the doubt. Especially I'm Zach, he's questioning his whole life. There he goes. There you go, right there, dial. Not even on the Did we say it was gonna work? Boy, if I tell you a duck will pull a truck, get a chain and hook him up. If we say it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Uh, Is that boy, right, Can Cleve? you lower the, yeah, it's right. Can you lower the, <laughs> Now, just need to spin the tranny a little bit. Yep. Lined up with the clutch. Look at this. Man, <laughs> your invention, I just can't get enough of it. Let me get that bolt. Pull it in with a bolt. No, no, I ain't gonna pull it in. Just a locator. Yeah, yeah there we go. Keep going, keep doing that. Keep doing that same movement. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, geez, it's a little up, dude. Now we can pull her on straight. Yeah, it's just bound up. You know? Is it the dowels? I hope. Let's go above and below them real quick. Uh, we got professionals here. Now she's pulling in clean. Yeah. Now she's pulling in real clean. So they uh, walk her on. See, we had the these doubters. That was the dowels, dude. Walking on. Easy peasy. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to call big block made to 465 SM. SM Elemental SM Elemental P and a dump truck right. once. That's right. Might as well be an SMX. Look at that. Dunzo. <laughs> Let me get the jump box, see if she cranks. Get the jump box, bub. Here, right Jack Sam. Put this on your finger. Look at her. Clean ground. Hurry up. up. Heads up. That's not a good ground. She's in gear, dude. Why is it turning over? It's got I don't think it's in gear. I don't think that's a great ground either, honestly. Jump box ain't probably strong enough right now. Turn the people in. I'd say she's turning over. Smoke, I'd say yeah, she's turning she's over. She's good. What do you think? You think that's free enough? That's good enough. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we got ourselves a functioning. Made it up. Let's see what this clutch Now she's in neutral. Yeah, go ahead. Ooh, that's perfect. I think. Feels good, right? Yeah. Not going to be long. So... Woo! Woo! <laughs> Buddy! That's what I'm talking about, boy. Combination. Literally, let's bolt it in. God, yeah, let's uh, let's drop it in the truck. I mean, it's pretty much ready. Yeah, let's do it. 
Yeah, you boys better get back to work. I know you haven't gotten a lot done this week. You see us out here just success after success. <laughs> we're just trying to teach something one at a step at a time. I mean, we're out here making progress like yeah, freaking. Zach, we'll give you one pat on the back for the help there. Appreciate that. <laughs> hey, man, Dad said no power tools. Huh. Oh, never mind. That thing's air-powered. We're air good. Air-powered. All right, so we're popping apart this motor mount. We're going to put a new insert in it that we got because we had one bad motor mount. Grab a hold of that, On Gerard. the driver's side. You got her open. Yep, we got a fresh one. Got a fresh you here. You know, this partnership that we've made with Ty has been really good. We're using his vice. I know. It's great. I like this guy. Zach? James? Still don't know about them. Still don't know about that. This thing? Yep. A lot better shape than the old one. Here, I got it. I got it. Watch out. Cracks in half. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pinch your shut. Stronger than I thought. All right, let's bolt this engine in. Just like so. Look at that. Look at that. Would well, you just look at it? Tranny mount is on there. It is a little bent. Not worry about that. Should be fine. Oh, this is happening right now, bud. Right now. We are putting the 630. Yeah, you're pretty. Uh, yeah, you should be good. I think so. Fire? A little bit. All right. That's. Yeah, that should be good. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, buddy. And we got working brakes on the forklift now. Nice, nice. All right, come on back. Backwards? In? Come in? Oh, forward. Forward? Come on, squirrel. I told you we got to get you backwards and forward, <laughs> A little more, a little more. Okay. Well, pretty good shape right yeah, now. Be careful, these plug wires. We did not have that in the budget. No. Swing and miss on this thing, we're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Looks we're gonna like drop it right in the hole. Clear. Yeah. Oh yeah. Looks like your trans mount's gonna hit first. Yep. Yeah, come in. Come in first. Coming. We'll just line up our trans mount. Down. Nope. Come on forward, forward. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. On backward a little bit. Just a hair. All right. All right, come down nice and easy. Right there. Come on down. Right there. Oh, brother. Dang, go. Yeah, it's in. Come on down, Draft. <laughs> come on down. Yeah, I'm certified. Let me check the other side real quick. Make sure. Oh, yeah, shucks. All right, back up a little bit. I mean up. I mean go up a little bit. Going up. Just a hair. Uh, looks like our alternator might hit squirrel. All right. Let me see here. Oh, boy. Okay. You, you might be right. Yeah, it is. It is. We had the Crown Vic alternator kit. We got to change that. Yeah. We'll pop that off. That's easy. No That's big easy. deal. All right. Watch your fingers. Coming down. Bring it down. Coming down. How about now? What the hell? Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Coming down. Coming down, how about now? Hang on, hang on, hang on. We are, uh... We're too low now? Let me fire her up. What do you want? Talk to me, squirrel. Forward, oh, back, left, we're right. we're stuck on our brand new motor mount because it's so tight. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Going up. Fits so good. Going up, going up. All right. Oh, oh, oh. fell right on there. Little, fell right. Down a little. Little down. Coming down. Yeah, yeah, just get the other one in. That one's so tight. This one's pretty far off. Need you up or down? Down. Well, I mean, I'm down. Yeah. All right, go up a little bit. It might just need to move forward or back a little bit. Going up. All right, now drop it down. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh. She's in there like swimwear, buddy. Woo. Hang on. Hold what you got. All right, don't rip our new motor mount now. All right, hang on a second. Let me try to see if this will. Easy now. Yeah, that one's sagged so far down in there. If I can get a flathead in there, I might be able to pry her up out of the way, you know what I'm saying? Keep going. Keep oh. going. Keep oh. going. All right, give me the bolt. Right give me there. the bolt. 
Hold it! Oh shucks, dude. Where's, Where's our bolt? bolt, squirrel? That's not the bolt. There it is. Get her in there. <laughs> Hammer! Hammer! Ham dammer! is in there it's in there and it fits overall dude i mean made a lot of progress today we got the clutch engine transmission together in the car in the truck yeah and now we got to figure out tomorrow how we can get those bolts out of this cab that's our biggest our biggest tackle yet that's gonna be big yeah but once that's done i mean we can literally put the cab on it wire it up fire it up, up and do a burnout looks like oh just lost a cap <laughs> All the needles fall out. <laughs> no, needles are good. Needles are good. Oof. Put that. Plenty of free play. Pl plenty of free play on that. Lost the cap again. How about Not now? Lost some needles on that one. Ooh, bold. Look at that. Look at you go. Pop those needles back in there. Yeah, show me dial. Needles are back in. Perfect. I want to do that again. All right. Thank you, Squirrel. Thank you for the assist on that. And she's in there. Uh, this very well. Is it in there? It's in. Yeah, it counts. May have been one of the easiest restorations we've done on, on Dude, uh, we the are website. It's on a rip right now. We are unstoppable. We could literally be shifting gears in. I don't know, a couple of days max. A couple of hours time, honestly. A couple of hours. But we'll spread it out so these guys don't feel so bad by the lack yeah, of progress know, in between. Should we put the headers on it real quick? I thought 100%. Yeah. Yeah, Let me get the headers. Oh. Uh, hello. America is calling. <laughs> Y'all thought we were going to put some wimpy headers on this thing? No, sir. I know there's going to be people in the comments say, oh, no, do normal headers. Hell no. <laughs> You ever seen a tow truck with up pipes like this, dude? On a 632? Didn't yeah. think so. We gotta let her breathe. So let me just Plus, let me give you guys a sample of what we're gonna be working with here. Plus, nothing else was in the budget. Yeah, we already had these, so this is also very convenient. Oh boy, that is something. That is something. Oh my. Holy mother of Moses, look at that big block. See what we're working with here? Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. 632 cubic inches of get back, don't touch it. What do you think our drive shaft's going to do? Well, <laughs> you remember that time you put that wooden drive shaft in that Mustang? <laughs> <laughs> that, that worries me. Maybe I should call PST and be like, hey, uh. We need a 630 inch drive shaft. <laughs> you, guys, you guys make tow truck drive shafts by chance? I bet they do. I bet they can whip something for us. Ladies and gentlemen, we officially have a 10.3 liter 632 big block in the Forgotten Freedom Factory rollback. All right, guys, Squirrel and I are here. It, none of the guys are here. Of course. You know, it's the absolute crack of dawn. What time is it? It's like 4.30, 4.25 a.m. 4.25 a.m.? Yeah. Really? The sun's up. So oh, I haven't checked. Anyway, we got all our wiring and fuel system out of the Twisted T car because we scrapped that. So now we're going to use all that, you know, right on the same 632 that was in it. <laughs> and we're going to make sure this thing runs good before we go putting this cab on because it'd be a lot easier to fix it now before we put it on. You know what I mean? Yeah, so exactly. we're basically starting from scratch. Yeah, we want to make sure this bad girl can run good. We got our Holly sniper. Where's that thing at? It's uh, right there. There it is. All shined up. So this is an EFI module. It's got little injectors in it. All we got to do is give it some pump gas, and this bad girl should fire right off. So we got our fuel pumps, and we got the wiring, as you already saw. We're going to hook that up to a battery. And then we should have the big block running, I don't know, maybe five minutes from now. We do have to put oil in it. It has no oil in it right now. Got some liquid gas. Get You got a bolt? Yeah, we got bolts. You got her glued down. I mean, about to be. About to be. Oh, all right. Nice. Got some bolts here. This is all we got. 
Oh, you got her a little, a little crooked. That's okay. Why well, I use liquid gasket? You usually do that on purpose. That way you spread it out, get a good seal. Yeah, that's a technique I typically use. I like that. I learned that from you. That in there. That in there. There's your fourth one. Can't believe we're running all four. Yeah, well, we got them, you know? Well, this one doesn't fit. Oh, yeah, that's for you. So you're threading? That's a negative. All right, there they go. There it is. All right. Oh, this baby's got to be burned before the boys even show up for it today. <laughs> They're going to be like, damn, Cleeton Squirrel did it again. They really don't mess around. They don't play around. Getting her cranked down, our old sniper. This thing's about to be ready to fire up. One thing we don't have yet is a fuel tank for our temporary setup. Well. We're going to have to get that figured out. We'll get old blue out. Old blue bucket. Old blue bucket. All right, get our handy dandy fuel pump kind of laid out. It's going to go back here, kind of. All right, all right. Get our fuel lines hooked up. All right. So yeah. that's our in the tank return there, I believe. Okay. That's the feed and the regulator. Going on the... So that one will go back. This one's going back. Yep. Yeah. Into the tank. This one's going on the fuel rail. Yep. And then. There we go. Put that on the bottom of the reg. Reg the leader. Dude, we are literally going to have it running before the boys get here. They're going to be shocked. Oh, yeah. Per usual when they come check out one of our builds. We do need to tighten the headers. All right. Testing out some of our wiring. We're, we're in really good shape we're right really now. Shape. I mean, basically done. We just hooked, I think, everything up. We got an extra ground here. I'm twisting this to get it right now, and then I can test out the starter button. Let's see it. Oh. Oh. Huh. huh. Interesting. Well, that was supposed to work. All right. Let's try something else. I did else. all the math in my head. I was supposed to work. How about now? <laughs> see, that's shocking. We got the click. That's surprising, yeah. because I can hear a solenoid. Okay, give me a minute. Here we go, here we go. Ready? Yeah. How about now? Dang it. <laughs> Why is that lighting up? We got a light. Okay, we got something backwards. All right, <laughs> give me a minute. All right. You have to hold this at about the one o'clock tilt be position because if you twist it any other direction, you could risk contact back here. Okay. So, how? Now we got power. The math is correct. This starter button should work. <laughs> that turned over. Let her, times. let her turn over. We got Prime oil it. in it. Prime it. Ooh. All right, wait. Let me give you some more juice here. Put her on full chooch. Yeah, this thing's like kind of tight, huh? It all, it started pretty slow in the, with twi with twisted T also. Yeah. Oh man. All right, all right. <laughs> hang on, hang on. What the hell? She's oh, struggling. she's smoking, smoking. Yeah, she's smoking. Holding it is really pulling a load on it. So, we gotta tighten some stuff up. All right. Cause we're not, I, or we put the jump box right on the starter so it's just a good bit of power right there. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, cause you know, all these connections to really make them right, that's going to be a significant amount of work. There we go. <laughs> right. Wait, let's do this too. Let's get ourselves an extra ground. Just so she don't get bogged out. Red to black. If it's still not cranking, we might have another problem. Hang on one second. Okay, you ready? All right, we're ready. Dude, we're so good at wiring. You I know. know. <laughs> Listen to that. Here, I'm gonna do it again. Oh man. Oh, lost my. Well, now it's good, dude. It was just the ground because the jump boxes fell off. Yep. It was literally the ground. Extra ground. That's all you always check problem. your grounds, folks. Check your grounds. She is ripping right now. Okay, so we're dialed. Let's get oh. some fuel. Let's get some fuel. Get this baby fired up. Come on out. We're gonna show you something great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yes. kind of question is that? We don't have a key, but yes. <laughs> we got pushed to start, bud. We do need to do our fuel. Zach, you just got to gas love her it. up. Let me show you some stuff, Zach. Oh, and you see this wiring perfection? Oh, you guys wired it up? Oh, yeah. It's fully wired. This baby ready to rip. I mean, I could drive it right now about a clutch pedal. Let's see. I mean, technically, you could use your hand. Check this out, Zach. Oh, you <laughs> well, we'll put well, tape I mean, on it. Eventually. Or maybe a wire nut. Yeah, I have some wire nuts in my house, like the the ones I use to wire my house. You know what? It looks good. Just don't right? shake it around too much. So, what we need right now in this moment is fuel. Yep. In that bucket. Which so, is right here. Dude, what is going on? <laughs> Actually, you think you could hold our return so I can get a good video? You know, I like that you have the battery cut off switch still so keeping it yeah, safe. Yeah, well, of course, yeah. Keeping it safe. There's literally oh. nothing that could go wrong. Not a thing. That should be good. Wait, we'll put a little more in there. No, no, no. Keep our fuel pumps cool, you know? That's all we need. Oh, my God. Someone might have to point the return in the tank for us real quick, though. Oh, Show boy. Between the pump and the yeah. There you go. We got our return line. Oh, there you go. I'll go grab that real quick. Parking lot. Oh, see that? Nothing. Yeah, the parking <laughs> lot does need to be pressure washed after all this. But, boys, we're out here getting stuff done. You know, we're not worrying about how clean our setup is, yeah, as you can ready tell. To drive today, right? We need a couple oh, more days to be ready to drive. Not today. We got to get this cab situation figured out because our studs are in our cab. They're messed up. We got fuel pressure. Got we, fuel got... we got fuel spraying. Where do we got fuel spraying? We, we got, got a leak. I don't see a leak. I don't see a leak. Get hands off, bud. Yeah, hands off. Hot That's a good point. Give me that camera. Fire this thing off. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. We're dialed. Ready? We're burning time. All right, ready? we got fuel. Fire fuel up. is is pumping. All right, I got. Watch power this, on. boys. Watch this. Oh man, I left the her. jump box on the starter that whole nooch. time. You ready? You got her nooch. Yeah, it's in neutral. Ready? Hit it. Ignition's on. Woo! Okay. Wait, right wait. Clean, right clean. We might need. I got you. All right. Give me a hit. Actually, there's not even a gasket on the other side. I have this gasket. We don't need it. We're just we test firing. It's perfect. Yep. Oh, man. I need yeah. something hot. The, uh, this is hot. All right. Here we Let's go. See Got a ratchet. Crank her did down. Did you tighten the other side? I did tighten the other side, but I guess I just got excited. Are you sure? I think so, actually. Let me double check. <laughs> yeah, it's tight. I mean, there's only two bolts. It looks here. tight. Woo! That baby was running good! <laughs> so much torque. The chassis twisted coming off the line. Because it has so much torque. I, I honestly yeah. thought that it was just moving, and then I literally had hot air blowing on me when I reached over, and I was like, okay, the header's off. <laughs> All right, fire in the hole! All right, let's get it again. She might just fire up now. That's right. That's 
That's a hot rod. God. That's a hot rod. Right we we are dialed. Dumping clutches and passing people, dude. <laughs> Woo. I've never seen a 632 on the limiter that long yeah, in my life. <laughs> You blew your dash tank cover off over here that had the paint on well, it. Well, then it can't hang in. Golly! This thing ought to be <laughs> screaming. Dude, all, all, right. all the power wires were falling off and stuff. It's just, oh, that's a ground. That's right. We don't need it. That's a ground. <laughs> Let me get Man. all the unhooked before Dude, you we go. You guys have oh, a crap. really solid truck now. Well, it runs like a top. I don't know what you guys are listening saw. to. I mean, I, it speaks for itself. <laughs> it speaks for itself. So, guys... The project obviously advancing at a level never seen before. So we got a few things to wrap up and then we got to get over to our cab that has half of a bolt stuck in every hole. Once we get across that hurdle, which I can't imagine takes more than a couple hours, we're going to put the cab on, hook up the clutch and go for a drive. But that'll be on the next episode of the Freedom Factory Rollback. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.